No problem. Now get up. Retreat. What? But we're winning. Back to the pride now. Get up. Let's go after them. We're under attack. Get everyone to safety. Shiloh, get your cup to safety. We don't know how many there are. What's going on? Don't ask questions. Just listen. Come on, Blake. Come with us. Mommy, I'm scared. It's okay, honey. Stay strong for me. Niall, where are the others? They're sleeping. I'll go get them. Jacob, and whatever your name is, we need you! Huh? What? What's going on? We're under attack! I don't know what to do! Follow us. We might need your help. Queen? My name's not Queen anymore. It's Leah. We're in their camp now. We've come too far. Fall back. What just happened? They retreated. There's no misunderstanding now that it's a war. Wait, she said my name's not Queen. It's Leah. So what? I like to be called by my name. No, but in that pride, we only address the king and queen as king and queen. We never called them by their real names, even our cubs. I didn't even know her name was Leah. So that means they have a new queen, or king, or both. I wonder who it is. Whoever it is, they're not happy with someone here. Well, this is a good thing. They attacked us once with four different cats. That means we've probably injured half of their pride or more. Yes, but we're also injured. Some of us are. Yeah, not very many. Well, clearly their attacks aren't strong, or maybe they're not meant to be attacks. What else would they be? They could be warnings, or they're simply just trying to scare us. No, that's the second time they've attacked our border patrol. They're trying to take us out little by little. It's very smart, and one of the safest ways to weaken a pride. But they only hurt one cat pretty badly in both fights. They're not doing good. They're weak. I'm not scared of them. No, 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 no. They're not weak. They are strong. The queen, uh, I mean Leah, is very strong and so is the king. But they aren't the king and queen anymore. Leah didn't attack us. She let the smaller cats do the dirty work. She has young cubs still. I bet she wouldn't have fought unless she had to. And what if she had to? I don't know. I'm going to call the rest of the pride. Come with me. Why are you bleeding? Do you need my help? No, I'll be fine. We're safe for now. That was their second attempt to attack our border patrol, and both times they didn't do a good job. I think you guys injured them more than they injured us. That's for sure. Both times Alice and I didn't get hurt. I got a little hurt both times, but I can still fight. I didn't get hurt at all. Exactly. 
They're causing themselves more harm. I'm confused by that. Maybe they didn't see that the first time. I'm sure now they'll know. They should know by now that I have a strong patrol. With the rules they go by, they should think my hunters are stronger than my patrols. As long as they know that and they don't know which cats are our hunters, we have the upper paw. Now, with the two attacks they sent in, there are eight different cats in total. There's no way they're making that journey all the way here two different times to attack us and fail. They must have a temporary camp around here, and I want to know where it is. Their attacks are smart. If they brought all eight cats the first time, my border patrol would have been taken out, or at least severely injured. Saying that, we injured all of them. If we can do the same thing they did to us, but succeed, we will win this war fast. In order to do that, we need to find their camp first. And in order to do that, we need a spy. I need someone who is quiet, fast, swift, and smart. I have just the perfect cat for this job. Spirit, I need you to be my spy. I'm not sure I should do that, ma'am. It's dangerous, and I have a cub. I know it's dangerous, but they know exactly where our camp is now. We're sitting ducks here. They'll wait for our patrol or hunters to go out, then attack the rest of us. That means your cub, Spirit. Blake is always here. I know you're smart. You won't get caught and I would never send you alone. I'll give you a partner. Please, Spirit, will you do this? Yes, Lyra, I will. Thank you, Spirit. Now someone else who is smart and swift and you work with him all the time. I want Atticus to go with you. I've seen you work together and you two are both very patient and I know you won't get in each other's way. Will you go with Spirit, Atticus? Yes, Queen Lyra, I will. Great. Now, since it's currently raining, I bet their scent has been washed away already. You two will go another time. It shouldn't take more than a day to figure out where they live. In fact, it's probably so close you can find it in an hour. I don't need you to go in and listen to all their plans. I don't need any of that. I just need to know where their camp is. It should be a simple, easy mission. I don't need you to go very close. Do you understand your motives? Yes, Queen Lyra. Locate their camp, then move out. Precisely. What if they don't have a camp? What if they're in their old territory? Well, then I have three cats that know exactly where it is. Niall and Jacob have lived there for years, and now Catherine's been there. If it is there, what are we going to do? Would you take the entire pride? I highly doubt it's there, and if it is, I'll think of a new plan. I don't want to worry about that right now. I just want to locate their camp first. Since we've had another scare today, I don't want anyone going out. Let's get a bite to eat, get a drink, and get a lot of rest. That's the best way to get our strength up. Shiloh, I want you to check on Catherine's wound first. Alright, I'll check her out.